Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about approximation. Yeah? Continuous approximation. Last time we did uh, a counter. Let the counter count from zero up to whatever. Yeah? And say the counter value is then our digital value of our, of our analog input. Now we're not starting at zero. We are starting at the last known counter value, at the beginning at zero, okay? But then, depending on if the new value is below or above, we're counting up or down, okay? This counting, we will not count with a certain frequency. If the difference between the known last value and the new value is small, we will count slow. If the difference between the new known value and the new value is big, we will count fast. Yeah? So we need some changes in our in our set. Yeah? So instead of a standard counter, we need an up-down counter. We need an element which can distinguish between the sign of the difference, if it's plus or minus. Yeah? We need an element which uh, is changing uh, the rate according to uh, voltage. Yeah? And that, actually that's it. Yeah? Of course we need again a control, uh, control logic, which will just distinguish if the difference is small enough, then we are there, we copy it to the, to the memory. So let's have a look. Here, this one. This was from last time. Uh, this was from last time. Now, I will draw pretty much exactly the same. So, I will just lay it here. Here was the counter. Now it's not just a counter. Now it's up-down counter. Okay? It's an up-down counter. Then there is, of course, the memory still. There is, of course, there's, of course, the display. This play yeah and then there are the transfers of course here yeah. that's how it looks like the only difference up to now is this up down counter yeah. that's the difference and now I introduce also, like before here, this digital analog converter must also be here. DA converter. The value from the up-down counter is then for sure be transferred to this digital analog converter and the result is again a voltage. Here we do have again the input voltage. Here we have the analog voltage or the input voltage. Here we have the compared, the, the voltage to compare, yeah. Now, now there's a difference. Last time we had a, comp a comparator which will just switch uh, on and off. Yeah? Now we are using a differential amplifier. Okay? Now we're using differential amplifier and this amplifier amplifies the difference between 
the plus and the minus input. So if this is bigger than this, then there here we have a positive voltage. So here, actually, we have a factor multiplied by ui minus uk. Okay. Here we have a control. Control logic. This control logic is looking if this difference here, if this voltage, if this voltage is small, yeah? if it's below a certain stretch threshold, because we are very close to the input, yeah? then it will lead the, the, to the copy to the memory. This is what this control logic is doing. Yeah? Then we need something which can distinguish yeah. if the sign of this voltage is positive or negative so actually it's a comparator with with uh, zero volt yeah. so it's I call it up down logic yeah. and this will switch to up and down yeah. so the control if it's small enough stop counting copy to memory up down if it's negative count down if it's positive, count up. Okay? And the only thing which is left are the impulses. And the impulses are generated by a voltage controlled element, yeah? which will produce different frequencies depending on the voltage. So actually, that's a voltage. Uh, a voltage frequency converter. And this will make it like this. So you see the difference between last time's compensation method and our continuous approximation is not that big, of course. So in our continuous approximation we have the counter value will be transferred into voltage if the voltage is below the, the this thing will let the counter count up yeah if the voltage is far below this will cause that the counter is counting fast if the voltage is not that far below it will count slower if we have here reached a small only a small amount yeah then the counter logic will stop the counting and copy to the memory then the new cycle begins. Meanwhile, the input voltage might have been changed and the thing begins from the beginning. So we are continuously starting from the last known value. This means that the, the uh, time used for, for transferring, for converting, are not that high as with other methods. However, if you have a voltage which is changing rapidly, yeah, then this benefit is gone. You see, it doesn't. It's also not. There is not the perfect digital analog converter. Yeah. Uh, analog digital converter. There's not that perfect analog di digital converter. It also depends a little bit on your setting. Okay, continuous approximation. Next time. We are using this thing here, yeah? something like this, yeah? a voltage frequency converter to build also a very quite simple ADC. Yeah? We'll be in next video for this time. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.